September the 5th, 2023. Guys, you're looking at the wide Atlantic view satellites from the National Hurricane Center. We now have Tropical Storm Lee sitting right here. You can see where night is falling off the African continent, almost up to the storm by now. But it accelerated today, still predicted to become a Cat 4. The models vary from a southerly direction right along the top of Cuba, Dominican Republic, and, and Haiti, to a more northerly track that curves up the east coast. We're going to look at three different models, guys, on this, and uh, we're still too far away to know for sure. But it's going to rely on the high pressure that's above the Atlantic now and how it is going to fluctuate between now and then. Let me zoom this in just a moment. You can clearly see rotation under the top storms. Again, Tropical Storm Lee will become a major hurricane in a few days. And we're going to let's take a look at the spaghetti models and some of the other models, as well as the information from the National Hurricane Center out of Miami. And Lee was named this afternoon. This is a seven day forecast out of the uh, National Hurricane Center in Miami. Lee. Our Tropical Storm Lee now has maximum sustained winds of 40 knots or 45 miles per hour. Central pressure is 1,005 millibars. Movement is west-northwest at 14 knots or 16 miles per hour. Pretty good clip going on there. Let's take a look at what the uh, modeling from the National Hurricane Center is saying only. And this is what they just put out, guys, on 5 p.m. advisory. That's the AST time in the Atlantic, but you've got 45 mile per hour winds, again, speed at 16 miles an hour. And check this out. You, this is the orange area here, or the gold area, is tropical storm. That's where the winds are at. It's going to be a hurricane by 2 a.m. or Wednesday night, just after midnight, um, tomorrow night, a hurricane. And then uh, by Friday on this model, at 2 p.m. Friday, a major hurricane. It's going to escalate into a Cat 4 by all the other models. And again, this does not show the size of the storm, only the possibility of where the center will run through here, either lower than this, or along this line, excuse me, or along this line, or somewhere in between that. And then the dotted area, guys, is a couple of things, because you're getting out in time, it's a little wider, but also it's a the Navy lets that indicate that you have shipping watches and warnings for any type of naval vessel or any other shipping vessel in this area. But uh, this is going to go on. You've got a Cat 4 sitting here at 2 p.m. Sunday. Now, this is the Sky Tower Radar Fox 13 down in Florida. And I like this model simply because not only does it give you the time and location, but the actual wind speed, predicted wind speed. So, again, Cat 3 here, you get into one uh, at 130, you're into a Cat 4. So, Saturday, you're at Cat 4 at 140 miles per hour. Sunday, 2 p.m., 145 mile per hour. Sustained wind storm. The gust will be bringing this thing up to probably 155, 160 at this point, if that's the speeds. But, again, here... This is what we're looking at uh, Wednesday at 2 p.m. and then again Thursday after midnight becoming a Cat 1 hurricane. It's pretty much the same um, area as the National Hurricane Center. Now update 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Guys, e the Navy model now has moved a little further north. Remember it was coming up into this area and then moving almost exactly west under that low pressure area. And that may be a good thing for the East Coast. We still may take a lick somewhere in there, but it may be further north. Instead of around the area of uh, the Outer Banks here, possibly up around Massachusetts. So we'll just have to take a look at it. But the Navy model is in the purple. It ends right here. Canadian model is right here. And it's kind of in the center of the two cones that we just saw. And this was updated 5 p.m., we know this is going to change. It, again, it will depend on where the high pressure is going, but the Navy model is starting to pull to the middle of this, so that will probably keep it out of the Gulf of Mexico. And that's good for the folks in Florida and Georgia, but we're going to have to keep an eye on it because it's going to be very strong. And when you get into the Cat 4 situations, they kind of control the high pressure. They can push against it, or they can flow into the area of least 
resistance as far as you got a low pressure system setting in that high pressure area they will fall right into it now the models have changed throughout the day what you're seeing is major hurricane lee here but look at what's happening right here that's interesting because you're going to have two it looks like major hurricanes almost uh side by side and what's happening watch how this storm pushes up on the high pressure and creates an opening here now that's as far as it goes out this is september 15th when the storm's there we're going to let it replay the time stamps at the bottom here we're cat four you've got a pretty good sized storm over to the right of there it will probably have an m name but guys um look at what it's doing it's going to follow the path of least resistance and this storm is going to, according to this, and it's changing two or three times a day, guys. It's putting pressure on the high pressure system, which is orange and red, and allowing this storm Lee, or Hurricane Lee at this point, to possibly avoid the east coast entirely. Now, if, even here, Bermuda is going to see, get a side glance, and you're going to have a lot of swells from it here. But let's look at the other models like I said this is the third change today now the Navy model is a little further south here you got a cat 4 on the 13th and that's as far as it goes out it doesn't go out to the 15th the way the Canadian model does notice where your high pressure area is here if it continues to push outward and we'll watch what they're saying about the second storm both are putting pressure here now but if it were to stay where it's at at this point, if it doesn't continue to retreat, then you, it's got an opening right here with uh, North Carolina and the North Carolina area. Check it out as far as this opening into the yellow. See that in the green? But if it continues to push up, then we will uh, see it probably miss most of the U.S. But you do have a low pressure system setting above the high pressure, which could put... Um, could keep it down a little further south right there major cat four by the 13th and uh, if you guys are in the Bermudas or along the uh, Leeward Islands Windward Islands in here you're going to be getting some weather but guys this thing could change very quickly now this is called the global forecast system I want to kind of go in the medium between the two it's not the most accurate out of past about five days but it gives you a good idea of where the pressure systems are going to be. Just check it out. We'll see. Again, we're seeing the same situation. Double storms. This one's not go, uh, quite as strong. And it's leaving the high pressure over the east coast. Let's watch it one more time. That's the September the 9th through the 10th. Right here we see the turn north on the 13th. Let me just step it forward from there. Very strong storm, Cat 4. There's the 13th again, 14th here. Now, the high pressure setting over this section of the country. Let's watch this. Right there. You get, uh, I guess this would be the Long Island section of the nation here. Long Island getting up into Massachusetts. Maybe a Nantucket sleigh ride if, for all the old mountain uh, music heads right there very close to that so we got three different models you got another storm right behind it notice that watch this here's lee second storms here it cannot push into the according to the global forecast system not doing much damage but it is allowing a path for this storm and that would be september 21st again this is not a long time for a forecast model it will tell you that in the description but it's kind of giving us an in-between of what we're dealing with. And the reason I'm saying it is don't let your guard down along the East Coast just yet. you got a Cat 4 coming that close offshore to the New York area. Then you're going to have a tremendous amount of subway flooding and other problems. Watch it one more time. We'll stop it at that point. Coming up, starting to move faster right there. That is September the 16th. Again, today's the 5th. And you've got problems there. Let me just step it forward. It, that's how fast it's moving, guys. Let's go back. Right there. Skirting up. What is that? St. John's, Newfoundland area there. But this section between the 16th or, or the entire day of the 16th. 
You've got Inco uh, East Coast impacts. But guys, I just we know it's going to change, but I'd like to give updates. I get a chance to look at it for myself and share it with you. We're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.